All right, welcome back. 3 February 2024, hell of a year so far, guys. It's just going to start getting more interesting. And along those lines, banking. One of the things the Fed Reserve came out a couple of days ago and admitted for the first time in ever was that the banking domain is looking good. They took that out of their line item in their, uh, their uh, quarterly reports and that it is gone. That makes you wonder why would they admit that? Well, banks are being uh I don't know, a lot of cyber attacks, a lot of information, a lot of a lot of interesting stuff going on where they just randomly drop your account. You've been with them for years and they see you at, uh, do something like add an extra 10 bucks to your account and they lock and freeze your account for no reason. Uh it takes weeks to get the reason. It's just crazy out there. So, I don't know. Let's go through this one. JP Morgan Chase. Chase, guys, customers deposit may go missing. Very comforting thought, right? Because you need to have a bank account to pay your employees, pay your bills, all that good stuff to get through the daily grind in this world. Uh, the bank says it has no idea where the money went. Oh, that's very comforting. Very comforting. Yeah. Uh, someone in my family, we had an issue. They actually deposited some cash, a small amount, in an ATM machine. It jammed. It took about two weeks after done reports, complaints, to their appropriate department that uh, the money never got deposited because it jammed. How hard would it be for someone at the branch to walk out and say, oh yeah, their money's jammed in the machine? It was just a pain just to get that 100 buck deposit resolved and credited uh, it's ridiculous. Can't you physically walk out and check the machine? No, <laughs> apparently not. Apparently it's rocket science. Because people stare at their phones all day and have no idea how to do their job. Use their hands. Use their uh, critical thinking skills to fix an issue. Yeah, that was a nightmare. Lesson learned. If you are going to use a bank, deposit cash inside with a human. Get a receipt. Do not leave your position in line until you verify the receipt you received is accurate. Once you're out of that line, forget it. They don't care. Uh, yeah, so do that. That's my advice if you're going to use a bank. All right, let's go on customers. Uh, customers at J.P. Morgan Chase Branch, English hard again. Uh, they say the deposit are, aren't showing up in their accounts. And the bank has been reluctant. They've been reluctant. Wow, amazing to address the issue because they don't have people working on customer service. They do not care. They do not care. Uh, all they care about is marketing and getting new customers so they can uh, do the same to them. Anyway, this person here is a small business owner says that despite having a deposit slip, that's key. She has a deposit slip. Her local Chase branch has not. This is a branch where people actually sit and they live in the same town. Geez, they haven't confirmed a 13K deposit to her account, but she has a deposit slip. Oh, it hasn't shown up in her account, but she has the slip. <clears throat> and this is in good old Oklahoma. I didn't know anybody really lives in that. It was like a couple people, big state. And it gets cold. All right, since Chase won't get back to her. Oh my God. Uh, she is now facing financial burdens. Yeah, she has to meet payroll and all this stuff. Got it. She's trying to be patient. Uh, trying to be uh, kind about it. No, you can't be kind. It's your money, and they're you know they're they're making money off your money. They need to provide a service. Otherwise, pull your money out if you can get it credited. You know, uh, she's got bills, and they're going to come out automatic draft uh, out of out of her business account. Yeah, great. So she's got to cover those automatic drafts now. A lot of stress. Yeah, I don't know, man. Do they want to kill small businesses in this country? I know we're under attack. Uh, they're trying to just make the uh, gap between the rich and the poor greater, and it's working. Uh, look at the price of cars, look at the price of gas, look at the price of food, uh, real estate, property taxes are going up, car insurance, home insurance is going up exponentially. It's crazy. It's now at the point where your insurance and property tax are more than your actual mortgage amount. Anyway, it's just getting bad. For a small business like mine, it can be detrimental very quickly. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Employees, worker bees, drones at Chase reportedly told her that they didn't know when or if 
she would receive her money. That's fantastic customer service. I wonder if they had an Indian accent or something overseas. You never know. After being con, and they're going by a script. That's what drives me nuts about all these tech companies and banks. Everything's overseas support. These guys don't care. They're running from a script just to save the big corp money. Corporations, it's funny. Look at the old Monty Python skit where they had a, what was, I wanted the movie, Life of Brian or one of those movies where the corporations were battling each other in one of their animated sequences. It was, it's very Orwellian, very foretelling about what's happening now. Corporations run the world. Oh my gosh, let's go on. The small business owner said, hours after being probed by the media outlet, Chase, Chase told her that they promised to credit her account with the missing deposit. Another person who experienced similar issues with the same Chase branch was reimbursed for his troubles. I think there's kind of, if there's too much of a coincidence, it's not a coincidence. There's something going on with someone that works in that branch that is either corrupt, pocketing the money, or, or worse, embezzling it. It just sounds like they're taking the deposits and putting them in their pocket. And now they're being called out because, oh my God, you actually had a media outlet do their job of journalism. My God, forbid, forbid that to happen. They went out and actually did some real journalism and got on to the uh, businesses back and asked them what is going on with your client's money. And then probably the person that worked in there stealing the money said, oh, I better credit it. Okay, I got caught. Uh, uh, yeah, wait, wait a couple weeks and see who gets arrested at that branch. All right, Chase has been uh, the subject of multiple reports alleging that the bank shut down accounts without clear reasoning or explanation. Yeah, this is happening across the board. Wells Fargo, like I said, they'll just close your account or other banks will come out and say, hey, this looks like suspicion activity. We're going to close your account. And some of it may be you uh, sold your car and are putting the money in the bank account. It's your money. They're the bank. It's ridiculous. Uh, then other things you can see, you get a tax refund, you know, wow, good luck with that. Uh, IRS is way behind already on 2023 tax refund processing is going to take, uh, you know, weeks, at least three to four weeks. Uh, they suggest there, side note, just get it direct deposited to your account instead of waiting for a physical check. And then oh, if you get the, yeah, you know, if you get it deposited, don't do it to chase because they may lose your money or this person at this Oklahoma branch may put it in their pocket. That works there. You just don't know, man. So if you deposit this money, some bank accounts are going, oh, this is suspicious activity. And they'll just freeze your freaking account. They'll freeze it. And you've got to fight them or try to find a human uh, that speaks English in this country to freaking resolve the issue. Good luck with that. You almost have to have a lawyer on retainer to make a instant phone call with a threat of, uh, of suit against damages and lost wages, interest, whatever to make them respond or have a news media outlet in your pocket that they can call them up. And how do they get a hold of these people? Do, uh, how do the news people know who to call? It makes you wonder that. Maybe they just keep hounding them on every phone number at the branch. Yeah, so anyway, last summer, Republican attorneys general in 19 states accused good old J.P. Morgan, Jamie Diamond, of routine, uh, routinely, routinely, if I can say it right, routinely discriminating against its own clients and closing bank accounts without warning based on religious and political biases. Oh my God, they went there. I didn't, I wasn't even going to go that far. I was uh, basically hearing and reading lots of reports that again, if you put a unusual deposit into your account, $10 more than usual and not a direct deposit, they will close your account or freeze it. It's ridiculous. Yeah. So there you go. Solution. I don't know. Have multiple bank accounts. It's not that hard. Get a synch synchrony bank account. Get a Capital One bank account. Have a brokerage account. Have a local credit uh, union account. A local, I hate to say it, Wells Fargo. I'd have at least, let's see, I got four. Have at least four bank accounts just to cover your butt and have lots of cash on hand. That's all I got. Go forth. Do great things.